This is a controller that uses brain waves to play video, video. games. Uh, oh, 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 we got one! <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it works. It takes 30 seconds, but it works. Ever since I was a kid, I've wanted to play a video game just by thinking about it. And now, in the year of 2022, that dream is a reality. Termination. In science fiction, there are plenty of examples of people using brainwaves to control devices. We've all seen the movies like Iron Man, Ready Player One, or TV shows like Black Mirror, where people can control electronics with just the power of their minds. We wanted to see if we could replicate this experience with modern technology. So, over the last couple of months, I have been learning how to use this device to control three popular video games, Halo Infinite, Call of Duty Vanguard, and Minecraft. This headset reads brainwaves. What are brainwaves? Well, your brain, and more specifically the cells within your brain, use electricity to communicate. This headset contains sensors which are able to pick up these electrical signals and do different things. By measuring and interpreting the changes in these electrical signals, we can determine, for example, what button a person wants to press. In theory, this technology can someday allow you to think of the color green and have that color show up on a screen. Over the last couple of decades, this technology has been mostly confined to the research and medical sectors. But thanks to the lowering costs of manufacturing and materials, it's now possible to use this technology directly with a computer. Game number one, Halo Infinite. Now Harrison's gonna make the character jump and slide without touching the keyboard or the mouse or having a controller in his hand. So it might not work this first time. Ah, there we go. <gasps> and as you can see, I'm not touching the keyboard or mouse, I'll do it again. Here's the mouse. Here's the keyboard. I'm just gonna keep them just like this so you can see them in frame. Ah, it works. It takes 30 seconds, but it works. Right into a rock. So that was completely done using Harrison's brain waves. Um, so very exciting stuff. Um, now we're going to move to another game, and we'll show you uh, some other features that this can do. Game number two, Call of Duty Vanguard. Okay, so now we're going to be playing Call of Duty Vanguard, um, but I'm not actually going to fire any guns during the game. We're going to leave that up to Harrison, uh, okay? Just with my brain. And Harrison's going to fire just with his brain waves. Okay. okay, I'm not going to be clicking the mouse at all. I'm gonna just rely on Harrison to fire my weapon for me, but I'm gonna move the character around. Hopefully we can get a kill here. Incoming. Oh, we almost got him. Yeah, let's try again. Now you're f***ed. Oh no! Ah! <laughs> Hurry up. I'm you ready? Respawn, respawn, yep. Hurry! Hurry! Oh, he's gonna kill us! <laughs> Hurry, you think I can control the time? You gotta, you gotta make this 15 seconds. The accuracy is 100% right now. Okay. So, it's, we're fine. I'm pulling 100%. All right. Okay, so we're gonna try to recalibrate it so that it's slightly faster. Yeah, so we can lower the accuracy by, well, we can increase the, the speed, which will lower the accuracy a little bit, but we've got 100% accuracy right now, so. 15, does that sound about right? Roll. Yep. Okay. okay, you ready? Yep. Oh, oh. All right, 15 seconds and I got you, still alive. Uh, oh, 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 we got one! <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, teamwork. 
Game number three, Minecraft. All right, so Harrison is going to use the P300 keyboard to aim and fire a crossbow in Minecraft. And he has three targets here. He's gonna use J to look at the left target first, uh, and then he'll use L to look at the right target, and then he'll use I to look up, and then he'll use the F key to fire the crossbow. Awesome, so into the left, now I'm gonna look at F to fire that one. Focus on F. Awesome, I almost got that sheep there. A little bit. <laughs> now I'm gonna focus on L, go back to the center. Sweet. Let's go for that right target now, L again. Nice. F for fire, now that we're lined up. Sweet. Let's go for that middle target now. So you go back to the left. Awesome. Come on, one more. I to go up. Yes. Have to fire. Oh no, hopefully it's not too low. Yes. Are we gonna get it? Yeah! yeah. Awesome. There we go. My brain archery skills are pretty good. So how this is actually working is Colin has pre-programmed movements uh, and firing to keyboard controls. And so what I'm doing here is looking at specific uh, letters and numbers uh, that are programmed to those keyboard controls. And you can see that it's flashing across rows and columns. And so when the letter that I'm looking at, let's say J, flashes in either the row or column, my brain gets excited and it gives a P300 response. And so when those overlap, the computer starts to figure out over time, oh, I think he's looking at J or L or I or F. And that's how I'm able to select which one I want to do and then fire the arrow. A couple of months ago, we reached out to G-Tech with some project ideas, and they were kind enough to send us their Unicorn Hybrid Black headset and accompanying software suite. The software contains a lot of tools that are typically used by researchers in industry. These tools include a data visualizer for the raw brainwave data coming off the headset, various libraries to build your own software, and a P300 keyboard useful for people in locked-in states. The software works excellently out of the box, and with some slight modifications, we were able to use the P300 keyboard to send keystrokes to a Python script. We'll link the Python script in the description below for anyone who may be interested in learning how this worked. We want to thank GTech for their generous donation of the Unicorn Hybrid Black headset for the creation of this and other videos. We're certainly going to be using this headset more in the future, and we already have some exciting videos lined up that we think you'll really enjoy. As always, don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We've got big plans for 2022, so stick around if you're interested in seeing more content like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.